Looking there. Looking to get paid too, as our top placers today are gonna get some of this matrimonial you know, money. 17 bucks on the line. Who wants it? Probably more if you guys donate using coupon code. Game one. Battlefield loser sentence. Top four. Ninja Bayonetta. Take yourself to a good suck at this combo in. All right, yep. Bayo combo. Just now 59%. Yep. Typical. It's like watching Ooh. a movie. A little short a little short film. <laughs> it's a quick time event. <laughs> yeah, it's a quick time event. Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quick time event when your button is disabled. <laughs> He's waiting for the right time to not die. Ooh, that was really good DI. You saw he ended up really far to the uh, down. Oh, back. committed to the dash on the side B, the afterburner. And Jake got rightfully punishing with the bat within kicking in. Shouts to Bane and his amazing features. Like okay. not dying <laughs> when she's supposed to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh what a nice up smash. smash there. Yeah. Big punch that, move. That's something that Tejus is not scared of doing. Just properly spacing a forward smash or an up smash just to get what it's for Bayonetta, a pretty dang early kill. And now, if you're a Jagrun, you have to start thinking about okay, how do you actually end Tejus' stock? And Grinja definitely has kill power, but at times he can struggle to kill. Oh, that was good. Ooh. That was good damage there for That Tejus. was so cool. It was and like 21%, back percent, but like it was so cool. Oh no, it was way more than 21%. He's still yeah. off stage. He's like, that not was a out lot. of the woods yet. He keeps going. 71, even more. That was crazy because there's like you used the other person as a platform to come back and then you switched like roles there. Like you, you took stage advantage along with that too. So you got a little you more know, damage. Was... It was insane. Yeah, that was custom. Like I've never seen that, especially using the holding the up air in order to really just cover the uh, recovery. Oof. I mean, with that, that's how, I mean, Tejus, it feels like he's earned his lead so far, but dropping shield actually gets forward aired and well, if you're Jay Grunt, yeah, you see, he's able to play a little bit more patiently, able to slow things down, just look for his openings, knowing that now he's not worried about, you know, having to end a stock in his yeah, I have to get a little crafty here in order to take the stock off. This is like the rough part of playing Bayonetta. Trying to, to finish the plate, you know. The Tejus, no slouch. Manages to take it right there with that back air. It requires a lot of crafty movement and positioning here in order to do so. Sometimes even a trade here or there just to manage to sneak your way through. You can also go deep here for these these approaches to come back on stage to, to delay your timing. They're making it really hard to hit, and when they do get the hit, they also have bat within as well, so amazing features. Again, <laughs> Bayonetta are very strong. Not a bad character at all, as most people initially thought. Yeah, she, she may be kind of a shadow of her former self. But oh, yeah. I mean... Considering how uh, massive she used to be, Shadow's still pretty big. Very large. Oh, the no. double up B to catch that? Oh, it's not going to kill, though. Oh, it was a little bit stronger. Oh, that was <laughs> really good recovery from Jay Grunt immediately after. Just knows he needs to get back to ledge before Tejus can basically pull out another one of those and trying to use his mobility. It feels like, honestly, on this stage, the platforms have gotten in the way of Jay Grunt really zip zap zooping around like he uh, oh, good might, might need to. But able to take that stock, still 105%. We have seen, you know, Bayonetta can struggle to kill at times. Oh, but... Mm. Oh! All right, actually dodging the kill there. Jay Grunt still alive here. Let's see how much he can do with that life that was given to him here. Oh, no, they're misreading a lot here. They're just struggling with this kill here. All they need is one clean hit. Like this. Oh, not gonna oh, kill, not gonna kill. Those big so blast zones on Battlefield. I don't know if he can take another one of them. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Just no. dash attacking back and forth. Oh, what a parry on the down air. Combo starting to come through. Oh, is that it? No! Where are you going? Oh. Okay. He just placed okay. himself too much. 
145%. I really thought oh. he was dead. Oh, back air, please connect. Apparently, when back air is like that close to you, you're just not gonna connect like that. Oh, try to confirm to a back air there. And now, look at this is super last hit. Next slowly connection losing. might be the oh. end here. <gasps> air dodge, but too far off stage for Jake to actually punish. They're both starting to space things out, but Jake in the corner. No, he's now in warm stage control. Oh, oh that was it! Saving him! Oh, the I dash reads the oh, tech option. That's going to be a dash attack. Despite fighting so hard, really bringing it back to a totally even game, we have Tejuice managing to still cinch it out. Let me look back at this again, because I want to see if there was nothing they could... Was this actually a confirm? I think it was a tech. I, if I, so here, bat within. Maybe my, my eyes deceived me, but he gets side bead here yes and then right doesn't here. do the second hit text in place oh, air dodge yeah. text in place oh yeah text in place and yeah caught at the right like the, the frame he comes back into neutral just right there before he can even shield yeah and i think <sighs> that probably would have covered tech away also tech rolled yeah given that uh tech rolled in just to go right through her you can you can yeah. go right through someone with tech rolling right Okay. Yeah, also, I mean, also, uh, I think he probably could have, you know, directionally air dodged up and diagonal. I don't think he was hit, hit stun all the way in before he hit the ground. I mean, that's that also... That, that probably would have been more vulnerable, because, like, at that point, Tejus could just have waited and... But how, but, he, but how would he... Uh, you wouldn't expect it, because it's such a terrible option. Yeah, it's like, why would you do... Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate mix-up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's... It's always the, the weirdest thing that catches people in this game. You can play neutral however you want. The work to works. <laughs> forward, forward, forward. Going for the off stage play here. Band that combos you from anywhere, anytime. Like so. Look at this. Oh. Even try to continue with that up tilt right there too. Love and Tages is game here. one. Yes. Oh, can he actually mm, clean up mm, the stock here? Mm. No, but all of oh. that damage carrying him with forward airs across the stage. So good. And now Jagron we'll once again in the corner. Oh, finally manages to find Snoping. Let's see what he can do with it. The drag down, double drag down, oh, gets oh the air God. dodge. Reed, what a stock right They're there. They're just putting each other in quick time events. It's so cool. <laughs> that, well, I mean, that was a quick time event. He just uh, he missed the button press. You were not. <laughs> it, that did, it did not ask you to air dodge. Yeah. I mean, right Jade runs past him to his arm. Yeah. So please do so. But yeah, if Tejus is going to continue to gain these witch times off the platform, they have to drop off the platform first in order to continue off of it. If they have no time to do so. They're amazing confirms like what they did previously, but damn, Jade is running away with this right now. Nice little stock exchange, but let's see <laughs> if Tejus can make this moment matter and take take control of the neutral again. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Especially when Jacob's ready to block those. It's kind of like mashing when, like, but this is like in terms of Bane that is neutral, like her neutral tool of using afterburner kick. But you want to do it in moderation. You don't want to do it all the time. You want to make yourself too obvious when you do so. This is good damage. Oh, now, last game, I will say, it felt like this was the sort of lead that Tejuice had, and Jaquan almost made the run back. But this time around, I don't think Tejuice has what's, has it in him to uh, to actually make it, make it happen. I mean, look at the 76%. The combo still happening. <sighs> okay, no. Jaquan does manage to find All a way to cover. A little shield poke right there. Pressure. Had the mini after better kick them off the ledge. Trying to land some sort of button here. There oh, is. there it is. I believe was that a roll read? I think you rolled. I think you rolled behind. Did you roll at the same time? Oh, we'll look at the replay. I what, right uh, in a I couple think it seconds. Might have been just a drop shield here. Yeah. So let's take a look. A bees tries to put some air pressure on him. Just simply dances. Yeah. He has a roll read. Just <laughs> rolls, rolls before him. And Bayonetta does have quite a laggy roll. It's sort of the uh, the cost of having access to witch time. Uh, so 
Jagram did his roll first, and this combo was so good. That was so good. Really good sequence. It started even, yeah, look at this. All the way across. Double air dodge read uh, here. Gets the drag uh, down. I think he double jumped it. You saw right I think we saw a uh, double jump happen. Over here, he got his jump back because he hit the ground, but just too scared. I bet I was not saving her there. <laughs> so we'll see what, what the Tejus does about it in game three. Yep. These two are doing a really good job of fighting against each other. Right, this is 1-1, so. you know, one game apiece for them. But it does, I will say, it feels like the reason why that game two was such a blowout was the fact that Jake Rome was able to have a huge combo like that. Be able to take a stock in such a decisive, powerful way. Um, and if he's not able to recreate that, I wonder if he's still mm. gonna have it in him to take game three, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Like it's well, once you do a combo like that to somebody, it's it, I'm not gonna say it's 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 easy to win, but definitely uh, it rattles them on top of you know actually taking the stuff. Yeah, the mental damage is done. As long as Teiji doesn't think about it or dwell on it too long, they can continue doing their game plan and hopefully take the next two games. That was some questionable DI in the back air, but he's gonna be well, he's not gonna survive that back air. And yeah, Teju's not too shaken because able to just it feels like game one, just effectively playing, getting combos, doing solid damage, and then just finishing off once he gets the proper stage positioning. Yeah. Knowing how to do those double up Bs without wasting their jump. It's crucial for Bayonetta's to, to know. And let's do a lot of damage. There's a nice little confirm there from Jaygrant to take that stock though. 64%. It's not terrible. I think that's... We've seen Jay Grunt definitely take a more before he's actually able to return the favor. Uh, but that's still, it's still a hefty chunk of change. And ooh, Okay, but he might be able to throw that change right back in his face. 40%. Too far away for that witch time to connect. But okay, this could be really big. Bigger blast zones on the top of town and city will mean it'll be harder for to get some kind of... You know, ladder off the top, but still being brought up to the top of the screen by Bayonet like that is Ooh, a horrifying back. position. Also, they have the kill there. They're trying to position themselves into a confirm here. Jaguar doing a good job of avoiding it until this down air connects right in their dome piece. Now they're up two stocks. They just not shake it. Oh, fair trade. Okay, gets no the tech. reset. I like that dash attack to back air. Just trying to get as much damage as possible, knowing he's not able to actually convert it into a kill just yet. Oh, yeah. But he's going to need to get a kill of some kind pretty soon. Forward air, massive, but not actually enough to seal the deal. And, okay, going to be taking even more damage here. He manages to get away with only 49% on his body. Trying to read for that counter right there. Jager. Possibly struggling a bit in order to get a get a clean hit here just to kill the stock. Oh, I think he was hoping. For I think they're counting on them jumping there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is she dead? Okay, no. Those moves just don't work. <laughs> Why did he fall out of a shuriken? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. They're safe as long as they space it and it hits. So. Okay, down to the forward air. Some solid damage, and we're getting to the point where even if Jagrunt manages to take this stock, he's 92%. Possibly gonna be, even going to be 100 if he gets hit one more time. So, yeah, this is the point where it's going to be it's gonna be work for him. And that's oh, if wow. he can even take this stock, because now this is looking dicey. He's trapped in the corner. These Bayo back airs are being thrown in his face. One of those connecting, that'll probably mean the, the game right here. <gasps> Really? That would have worked. That would have been insane. The shots! Oh! That what I wasn't ready for. Yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta see how Teju set this up. Hold up. Because that was really good. They're trying to go for something there, too. Okay, lands the triple third. Fast fall. <sighs> right into it. They tried to drift right back in, too. Yeah, the, the, the fair wreck of Fastfall. 
also another good tool for bayonet is to, to utilize probably one of the easiest things they can they can learn to do Natejus is massively showing how well they execute with this character Walling out that back air for that, that suck right there. I'll be at a shield for this combo damage. Chases with those up airs. Potatoes is or no. The J Grunts is like, nah, nah, nah. You gotta stop. <laughs> Oof. Scary neutral exchange between the between both players as having advantage for either player could lead to dangerous situations for for the other. But it's it's more scarier for Jake once then because of Batwoman and how you have to guess harder in those situations. So let's see what they can do about it here in game number four. Back to Pokemon Land to feel at home. Hopefully not get comboed like crazy like right now. Oh, they would have caught something in the air that that probably would have been a stock. In her games, they literally say "fly me to the moon." <laughs> <laughs> Bayonet is a specialty at putting you there. <laughs> okay, so this is good on Jagrunt's end for slowing down the, the neutral, throwing these water shurikens just to feel out the situation. I'm trying to confirm something, but they're in after burner kicks at range, so. Oh, wow, well, the meaty side B to the back here. Not gonna take it. The fair, though. Still not gonna take. They're going for this. One hundred and sixty percent. Jaygrun is just at the moment hanging on by a thread. Mm. Let's see. I mean, that is also you know a lot of rage on Greninja. We've seen already that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gonna take it with up tilt back air. We actually haven't seen too much of up tilt back air, but I guess because it's Greninja, and Greninja has such a low frame, it can be hard to hit him with those moves that are typically more utilized as an anti air option. Ugh. Big damage off the platform, too, to help extend a little bit. When did he take 52%? <laughs> oh, he's double fair. It's a, it's a side B. Did all I mean, the work for her right there. Sure. I blinked, <laughs> I guess. It's my fault. <laughs> That's fine. It happens. Like, again, trying to fail the situation, but Tejus is going to parry one and then go right back in there. Jagrunt can't seem to find a way to slow this down at all. This is I, so you can very see Jagrunt right there, the way he dashed away at roll length. I think he was really hoping that Tejus was going to roll, but Tejus, the one in control at the moment, it doesn't have the fear in him that Jagrunt is hoping he could capitalize on. Once you get the stock lead, the first like the your first stock is a throwaway. <laughs> so the recklessness comes out. Not so much so that you want to lose the lead, but yeah, like that. Jake Run takes the stock. Alright. Again, this damage with the upbees. Very dangerous game. Jake Run is trying to get a quick stock off. Fortunately, the pressure wasn't in their favor as they, they try to chase so hard they to play for ledge and then lose it. Just to simply die to that back air. Very risky plays need to be done in order to take a lead back here. And I, and I don't I don't mind the Jake run away for that though. That's a, that's a pretty good thing to do. Especially when you're down, percentage wise. Always gotta treat it like, you, like it's your last stock. <laughs> oh, it's their last stock to take, you know. Oh, okay. Very dangerous game off the platform, but it, it wasn't enough to cover the whole thing. Oh, shield games were played right there. Tage is simply no fear. Gra grabs. Pressure is going strong for this guy. Tejus. Looking to take this clean. Yeah, the after burn picks are just working. Damage. The pressure is yeah. on. Oh, the top. Oh. Oh. Going way up there. I don't think that'll do it, though. Yeah, no. But 137%. It might as well uh, have. The back air oops. finds its mark only a few moments later. And Jay Grunt. It's going to be Tejus the one taking it over Jay Grunt 3 1. Yeah, Tejus is in there. <laughs> they just. This is forced a lot of situations where Jay Grunt had to, had to guess where she was or how to block, how to escape it. This is Jay Grunt getting caught in a lot of situations. Rolling here. Big mistake as. <laughs> 
The the jump back air was gonna cover the whole range of the roll and the recovery. Yeah. That move is, <laughs> is meaty as heck. I think that I think it does have the late hitbox. Did he DI into it? Is that what Devin is trying to show us here? Look how big this hitbox is. Look at that. Yeah, that is Look how much that covers. Look at the whole banana. That this is is... <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bananas do you get? I don't know, man. What the kind of bananas are like trees. seven feet tall? Isn't Bayonetta like six feet long? Bayonetta's feet are whole bananas. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what the side of the set there. Just uh, Tejus' pressure game against J Grunt's defense and J Grunt not being able to adapt the time in order to avoid all of it. Yeah, 